Why are there so many audio components in the background of my videos? Well, <laughs> you gotta know a little bit of history about me in order to understand this one. When I first graduated college, my dad opened a stereo store. We sewed audio components. That's these things back here, all right? And many of those uh, pieces came with me when we closed our store. Uh, we had sewed as many items as we could before we closed it. And uh, some items didn't sell, so I took some of those pieces back home with me, and they've been with me ever since. So what years are we talking about here? When, when we were in the stereo industry, um, I believe we started in the late 1970s and ran until the mid-1980s. And so uh, we had sold a lot of different brands, uh, everything from Techniques to Marantz. These are, these are some old Marantz receivers from the series of equipment that we sold when we first opened the store. There's a long story behind these things too. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, we sold uh, Nico Audio. We sold Luxman equipment. We sold uh, dual turntables, soda turntables. We sold Rotel, um, Amber Electronics. We had Allison Acoustics. We had a lot of different brands of equipment. And my love of audio equipment has kind of maintained with me. Unfortunately, I hadn't played a lot of audio equipment in the past years. I concentrated mostly in my uh, photography business um, in, the, in, the, in the most recent years. But uh, I've gotten back into audio and um, I don't think that will be something I will get back into professionally speaking. Uh, but uh, I do enjoy the music and I enjoy playing e my equipment. So this is why you see so much of this in the background. Uh, I do have quite a bit of equipment. Uh, this is just a, a sum of the equipment that you're actually looking at. And I do have some, uh, audio recording equipment too. My original goal in life was to be an audio, audio engineer or a full-time audio musician. Uh, audio musician? Music <laughs> person, right? A musician. But um, I've gotten back into audio and, and uh, I'm just putting all these things back together. So rather than hiding it in different spots, I decided to put them all on the shelf and, and wire them up and, and start using them again. And I will have to say that uh, today is a good time to get back into audio. Uh, I purchased some speakers uh, recently uh, made by a company called ELAC. Uh, they have some very inexpensive speakers that I believe retail for $299. You can get them as low as $250, $200 sometimes for a pair. And these speakers are amazing for the money. I mean, we had speakers in our, in our store that sold into several thousand dollars a pair that don't even sound close to what these things do today. Um, I augment them with, an, uh, with a subwoofer, which many of our people do today. They actually hook a subwoofer up to speakers to give a little more bottom end to it. But I'm telling you, wow, there's systems out today that will blow you away compared to the stuff that we used to sell way back when. But uh, electronics, you know, there's, there's a lot of different types of electronics out there too. Um, inexpensive electronics that still kind of sound bad in my opinion. But some very good equipment too that uh, a couple hundred dollars, wow, you can get some really good sounding pieces of equipment today. And we find too that turntables are coming back as well. Um, I still have an, a Luxman PD-375 vacuum pump turntable, um, Ortofon cartridge uh, along with it. The, the sound quality out of vinyl, I believe, is just as good, if not better, than, than digital. <laughs> it's, it's just clean. It's clean, it's smooth, it's warm. Um, we don't hear that all the time with, with some of the digital medium, but uh, my old records sound great. I mean, we got pops and clicks. There, there's no way around those things. But hey, vinyl's making a comeback. I'm telling you, people are buying these things again. Anyways, if you're a audio user and you're interested in that, uh, make some comments below. Let me know what you have and what what you're, uh, you're what you're doing with it. And uh, definitely, uh, if you like this type of video, like share, subscribe, definitely subscribe. We do need some subscribers on this channel. It's a brand new channel here and I'm learning uh, how to do these YouTube videos. So we're gonna learn together. You'll hopefully see that I'll be improving as we get, a, get through some more things. Um, many of the videos so far, uh, we're just kind of sitting here and talking to you. And uh, I'm gonna try to do some of that uh, for our daily type uh, comments. But uh, hopefully we'll get one or two longer uh, quality videos uh, per week. Uh, I hope to bring you guys out, you know, as I'm doing things, I'll do a little bit of vlogging, see how well we do with that, 
And uh, if we do well and you like it, uh, we'll continue doing more of it, okay? But I do appreciate everyone uh, subscribing and, and uh, encouraging me for these videos. So keep that up. We'll see you next time.